Yo, we back once again, homies. And today, we will be starting a new series, bruh. And it's gonna be called Headass of the Week. Now, Headass of the Week is a special series where we just look at the biggest headasses of the past week and just roast their ass, bruh. Because if these dudes been doing so much headass shit, they deserve to be called out. Now, by seeing the title and the thumbnail, you probably already guessed who the Headass of the Week is. And it's gonna be Rascum, homie. Mother love me long time, long time. Sucky, sucky, fucky, fucky, one time. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Now this dude, you know, when you think about being a headass, Rascum is the goat of being a headass. He is the number one headass of the century, bruh. He is the dude that made headass a real thing. This dude be taking so many L's on the daily with his headass shit. Now just a disclaimer, bros, you know, I don't know this dude, I've never met him, I've never talked to him, bros, so I don't know if he actually is a headass in real life, it's just the shit he does online, man, he just sometimes acts like a headass. Now it's just everything about this dude, man, everything he does, everything he says, the way he acts, the way he dresses, he's just a headass. Now this dude, the headass skill trait, he's level 100, bro. I'm gonna <laughs> slap the f*** out of him. So I made a Wheel of Fortune to decide the biggest headass of the century and I put in Ricegum's name as well as four others that are not Ricegum and some of y'all been saying that I'm the biggest headass so I put my name there just to make sure but we're here to prove that Ricegum's the biggest headass and it will land on him every single time when we do this shit bruh check this shit, we'll spin the wheel real quick bruh it's gonna be Ricegum, he's a big headass bruh yo what the fuck WHAT Bruh, are you kidding me, homie? Man, that's some bullshit, bro. Nah, bro, I'm not taking this shit, man. Run this shit back, bro. We run this shit back. Actually, I'm gonna take my bitch ass name out, man. It's some bullshit, bro. Take my name out, bro. Man, fuck that shit. That's bullshit. I take my name out. We run this shit, man. Man, for real, dog. Y'all tripping, man. See, I tell you, bro. See, what did I say, man? What did I say, bro? It's rice gum every time, man. First time we ran that shit, it's rice gum, bro. First time, man. Rice gum's name sitting there, bro. We run that shit a second time. Second time, bro. Man, what that say, homie? Rice gum two times in a row, bro. He is the biggest head ass. It's just a matter of fact, homie. You gotta accept it, man. Rice gum loves to flex. He flexes so much in his videos. It's actually unbelievable. And he flex, it's just hard to take this dude seriously. Like Lil Tay flex better than this dude. And his flexing sucks. He's wearing like, let's see, he wears his merch. They check out his merch, bruh. So we at Rice Gum's merch store right now, bruh. And his shit is out of stock. People actually buy this. $50 hoodie, homie. They buy this shit. His backpack's called the World Flex Backpack, you know, the flexing. He's got a flex. He always flex. And he's got an $80 hoodie, bro. $80 hoodie, homie. The people actually buy this. I just don't understand, man. You tripping if you're buying an $80 hoodie, bro. It probably costs $10 to make this shit. $80. I gotta give some respect, though. I mean, if you're making a living selling $80 hoodies, bro, and your dumbass fan base buy that shit, respect. Because, like, you out here hustling, I respect the hustle. But $80 for a hoodie, homie, you tripping if you buy that. Doesn't matter. Gucci... Uh, motherfucking Supreme, bruh. $80 for a piece of clothing, bruh. You straight up tripping. So I made a checkbook for being a headass, and this dude straight up checks every single box, homie. Like rice gum, you just check, check, check off the list, bruh. He ticks every single spot on how to be a headass. He sucks ass at rapping. He flexes all the time. He's not funny. He has no awareness. He's straight up a bitch. He's just a headass, bruh. Every single way. Ricegum is one of the many wannabe YouTube rappers. Like, for real, bruh, I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't think rapping's made for you, homie. Just not. But, hey, y'all ain't really doing much. Now y'all ain't cool with us. Hit on me, you fucked up in the head. Like, super cut. Bruh, this dude's straight up head ass, bruh. Moving his arms and shit, bruh. He moves his arms and shit all the time, bruh. It's like he's retarded or something, man. I don't get it. Motherfucking swings his arm like. Bro, he's straight up head ass, man. And his rapping sucks ass too, bro. That song is shit, man. I can't listen to that shit, man. I can't listen to that bitch ass shit song, man. Believe it or not, Rice Gum actually rates himself as a rapper. He thinks he's on some good shit when he raps. 
He tripping, bro. This dude thinks he's good at rapping, homie. For real, bro. I'm not even joking, bro. Run the clip. There's a ton of YouTubers now that's just trying to rap. They need to stop. Like, for real, man. You got one song with like 100 million views, and now you think you're like the best rapper of all time, bro. I feel like he should stop making music and just stick to what he's good at. Bro, he talking about other people to stop rapping, bro? You stop rapping. You suck ass, man. Your rapping's trash. So he flexes a lot, and he's shit at rapping. But that's not that bad, isn't it? So why are you making fun of him? Well, also, he's straight up a bitch. Like, online and shit, he acts so tough. But when he meets in person, bro, he gets bitched out to the max, bro. One of Rice Gum's proudest moments was his beef with another YouTuber called The Gabby Show. Now, she was recording him at a YouTuber event, and he couldn't take that shit because he was getting bitched out on camera, so he smashed her phone on the floor, bro. Like, how much of a bitch you gotta be to do that, bro? And he was proud of that act, bro. He was, like, bragging about it on his video. I'm gonna run that clip right now. I had two options that night. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch, or I could have did something about it, and I did something about it. I grabbed her phone and I smashed it. I was like, enough is enough, you little stupid bitch. I smashed her phone. So Ricegum, such a tough guy, he's such an alpha, for smashing a girl's phone for recording him. So let's see how he reacts when he's confronted by a man. So basically, Ricegum was having this beef with the Martinez twins, online and they were talking a lot of shit back and forth if i was home i would be walking downstairs and there would be no conversation it would be straight fit so pull up i'm ready and guys i tweeted him like yo come through and this is what he said what do you if he comes to me i'm gonna <coughs> slap the f out of him and then they met in person and rice gum straight up got bitched bruh like I'm not even joking, bro. I'm gonna show this shit. Oh, oh, let's go. What's up, bro? Oh, oh what's up? This is so random. Yo, no, no. I'm right here. You can smack me, bro. Guys, Guys I'm desperate. Damn, I'm bro. Desperate. This is actually Damn. so random. No, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just saying you're a little bitch. Yeah, no, I'm saying you're a bitch. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, okay this is the problem with everyone in the world, dude. I'm with Rice Stick. Literally, I love when people talk to talk online and won't say a single word in person. Not a single right, word, bro. Well, you, I, I'm waiting for the smack, bro. I don't understand. Bro, I hate the world. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Rice gum, run! Run away from me! Fear me! I had two options that night. I could have walked away and looked like a bitch, or I could have did something about it. And I did something about it. I grabbed her phone and I smashed it. I was like, enough is enough, you little stupid bitch. I smashed her phone. So Rice gum is a little bitch, ladies and gentlemen. That's a fact. He's a little bitch. You're just a little bitch, Rice gum. So I pretty much covered every single thing about Rice gum that makes him a head ass. There's just so much to do, bruh. He, actually, I forgot one thing. He made fun of a rape victim. Boy, wow. he raped you? No, but did it feel good though? How long like, did the rape last for? Five minutes or less. Oh, okay, so it's not that bad. But did you sue him and shit or not? <laughs> Guys, if you wanna rape her, she won't sue you, so. Now I know Ricegum obviously didn't mean it in that way. He didn't want to offend anybody. He was just trying to be funny, make some jokes. But sometimes you gotta think about what you're saying before you say it. You know, I can understand that, and I forgive you, bruh. Everybody makes mistakes, homie. You know, we just gotta learn how to recover from the mistakes. So I'm not gonna go too harsh on him. You know, maybe he's a nice guy in real life. I've never met him, but he's still a bitch. Now that is the end of this week's head ass of the week. I worked really hard on this video, and it was a lot of fun making. I would really appreciate it if you left a like and leave a comment on the video below. Just tell me, guys, who do you wanna see as next week's head ass of the week? I want to make another one sometime soon, make this a regular series. Now, if you enjoyed the video, I appreciate it if you share it with everybody you know. Let them know of the Lukey Boy crew, bruh. I'm out this bitch. I'm gonna slap the out of here.